Hello and welcome back. Now I know it's been a while. I haven't made any new lessons in the past couple of months. I've had a lot on my plate. I've had a lot of uh, projects going. Even though I've been reading all of your comments and responding to as many as I can almost every single day. Well, I'm back now and I'm back today with the first in a series of lessons on advanced spoken English. These lessons will help you to improve your listening ability and most importantly, your speaking skills, both for everyday communication and if you're preparing for an exam with a speaking component like the IELTS. Now, I'll make sure to put the text of what I say up on the screen and I'll also make sure to highlight any useful vocabulary that you can take away from this lesson. Now, the way we'll do this is we'll take a topic and I will be interviewed on the topic, sort of like uh, in an exam. That is, somebody will ask me questions and I will answer those questions as naturally as I can. That is, I'm not going to try to simplify my answers. I'm going to answer as I would in real life. Now, in this first lesson, I thought we'd take the topic of work. So we'll start by talking about my work and what I do. And then we'll move on to more abstract and advanced questions. Now, after the conversation ends, we will discuss the most important vocabulary items from the conversation. So if you're ready, let's begin. Let's talk about work. Tell me about what you do in your job. Well, I'm an English teacher. Uh, it's probably more accurate, uh, though, to say that I'm uh, an ESL teacher, ESL being short for English as a second language. I specialize in teaching English as a second language to adults. I mean, even though I've uh, taught classes for children, uh, the bulk of my experience has been in uh, working with adults, especially in business English and uh, exam preparation courses. Now, recently, uh, my focus has shifted to teacher training and doing research in the field of language acquisition. That's the study of uh, how people learn languages. Do you like your job? Absolutely. I, I love my job. Uh, see, teaching is something that I've always uh, gravitated towards naturally, uh, ever since uh, I was a kid. Now, whenever there's an opportunity to uh, share a piece of knowledge that I have with somebody and see that person uh, take that knowledge and uh, use it to make their life easier or better in some way. I eagerly uh, take that opportunity to uh, uh, teach. So uh, teaching is something that I enjoy immensely and uh, it's the perfect job for me. What was your dream job when you were younger? Well, that's a tough one because um, like most people, I wanted to be different things at different times. I remember wanting to be a pilot when I was a, a little kid, I had a lot of toy planes that I would uh, play with. And as a teenager, I would uh, daydream about being a celebrity. But the first job that I can probably say was um, truly a dream job for me was uh, um, computer programming. I was probably in my uh, late teens when I got into it. That's when I discovered the joy of coding. Because if you think about it, the job of a software programmer is essentially to solve problems in the context of computers or uh, information technology. So it was that problem-solving element that really uh, drew me to programming. Now, even though I ended up becoming a teacher, I still see my uh, present job as a series of challenges that need to be overcome. And uh, that's really what keeps me going. Do you think most people work in jobs that they love? Uh, probably not. Why not? Because you, I think you have to be uh, incredibly fortunate to have grown up in the right circumstances that allow you to uh, discover what really drives you, to be able to make a career out of it. Uh, I think that most people, uh, the traditional route that most people take is that they graduate from college and then they either take the best paying job that's available to them at the time 